really uncommitted gaming memories. Shall we play a game? <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks for stopping on by to check out this video. What I have enclosed in this box, well, shoe box I guess. It's not a nice pair of Hey Dude Wally stretch shoes. Yeah, it's not that. Instead, this is a great handheld game slash calculator for the gambler and us, or if you just want to polish your luck before heading out to the casino, it's a good game to play. This is... The Unisonic 21 Game and Calculator that came out in 1977 and endorsed by the one and only Jimmy the Greek. As the name states, it's 21, otherwise known as the game Blackjack, and it's also a calculator. Now, if you're wondering who this Jimmy the Greek is, well, a little quick story behind who he is or who he was. He was synonymous with gambling back in the 70s and 80s. I remember watching him on television in the 80s. And mostly because he was a um, CBS Network uh, sports commentator with the NFL games. But he was also known as an odds maker with sports. And I think with Las Vegas casinos as well. Anyways, he did pass away back in 1996 at the age of 77. And had some controversy along the way. Jimmy the Greek made some regrettable and offensive remarks for which he has apologized. But we won't go there. Getting back to this game, I've never heard of this game until a couple weeks ago. When I was on one of my favorite Facebook groups, which is called Retro Vintage Handheld and Tabletop Electronic Games. It's a mouthful, as I always say. Definitely check it out if you have a Facebook account. The main reason I was interested in this game was because I don't have a casino type game in my collection of vintage handhelds and tabletops. Other than two items, which would be Tommy's Pocket Game Poker which I would say it's a stretch to call it a real casino game because of the simplicity of it. And the Blue Box Mini Mate Roulette game, kind of like the Tomy Pocket game, which is very simple in its operation. You know, both of these are, are pretty cool to have in a collection, but a real stretch to say it's a casino type game. Now, this game here was listed as a working game, and it looked to be a complete in-box item as well. So that was a big plus for me to pull the trigger on this one. Let's take a close look at it. So the box, you can see here, Jimmy the Greek's signature. Printed, not real. <laughs> uh, the sides here tell you about the rules for Blackjack, Las Vegas rules. Also, the calculator itself. 8-digit capacity, the functions it has, automatic constant, floating point, made in Taiwan. The other side here, pretty much like the other side that we just looked at. And same information on this side. Bottom, nothing more to look at here. So let's look inside and see what we got. This is fully loaded, which is nice. We've got everything that it came originally with, including the styrofoam holders inside, and some foam inserts, like that. What else do we have? Well, we have the original instructions. Nice. Nineteen seventy seven. All right, and it also came with a cover case. Well, not really a case, let's just call it a cover because it's not fully enclosed, but you can cover it up when it's not in use. It has the name on top, as well as again, Jimmy the Greek who endorsed it. So you cover it up as such when you're not using it. And then here's the game. It looked really good and it still does. There's really, I mean, it's this dusty, but it's there's no scratches really on here that I can see well, a little bit, but nothing at all like others that I've noticed online before I pulled the trigger on this one. Stickers are there. And I believe the battery compartment was very nice. Yep, clean, no corrosion.
Well, let me go ahead and dust this down like I always do and polish it up a bit and come right back and then we'll talk about how this game works as well as the calculator, which I think we all know how the calculator works, but I'll explain why it's all built in one. All right, I'm back and I did do a good cleaning and a polish. Let's take a look at the cover first. That was pretty dusty and it looked really nice. It's um, plastic, so it's not anything fancy, but pretty neat. I mean, you can cover up your calculator game here as such and protect it from dust. What else? The uh, game and calculator itself came out really good. Nice shine to it. Wasn't that dirty at all. Uh, only thing I noticed is the power and the off labeling is kind of wearing out. It's not a label of a sticker. It's actually paint that is on the display itself. So it just kind of been rubbed off probably too many times from cleaning. Not from my cleaning, but just how it was before I got it. Other than that, everything else looks pretty good. There is an option for an AC adapter, which I do not have, which is fine because I have three c size batteries in here and i think we're ready to go all right let's take a look at the calculator option first because i did mention in the beginning of the video that there probably is a purpose and a good reason for having a calculator with the game and let's take a look you just have a few switches really you have a power on and off and then you have your game selector whether it's the game or the calculator and then you have your keypad or key buttons here for using a calculator or for playing the game. And you can tell on the right hand side here, these eight buttons is really for the game, for the blackjack game. You also use the clear button and of course you use the number pad to put your bets in. But for the calculator, all you really use is everything from here to the left. And there's only four functions for it. So let's just turn this on and let's see how it looks. That looks pretty good. So that's the calculator functionality. <laughs> There's not much to it. It's a calculator. But let me show you how cool it is. You can actually type in 10 plus 5 equals 15 minus 5 equals 10 times 9. What do you think that will be? 90? And then we'll say divided by 9 is 10. All right. There's really nothing cool about it. It's just a calculator. Nothing special. I guess it can be kind of misleading if you have this at your desk at work and you have people believing it's needed to do your job. Nowadays, it would be a hard sell since your PC and phones have built-in calculators. But back in the day, maybe in the 70s, this was something you can get away with at work. Although it does say Jimmy the Greek, so someone might get an idea and it does say player and dealer on the top. But anyways, it does look kind of cool to be on your desk. It looks like it's a functioning as a business tool that's all the calculator does it's a calculator so let's move on to the game itself because that's what we're here for let's check out how blackjack a casino related game looks like on here using one deck of 52 cards as you play now it did say in the instructions because i did read the instructions thoroughly that you can't just switch between calculator and game while it's on or vice versa game to calculator you have to turn it off so we would change the selector to game and we'll power on and the first thing you see will be eight zeros that are flashing or flickering very quickly and it's kind of dim lit which is normal what that indicates is that the deck of cards are being shuffled so you want to stop the shuffling of the cards you just press the clear button once and then now you see a single zero that's kind of dim lit as well and kind of flickering that is also normal this indicates now what do you want to play with what is your bank roll so in other words that's not how much you're betting but that's how much money you have available to bet. So that's how much you came to the game with, pretty much. So we'll establish that in the beginning. We'll say we have, well, I don't know, we'll go 50,000. You can go all the way up to 99,999,999. So it does hold up to eight digits, but we'll be realistic. We'll go 50,000. Not realistic, but we'll be kind of you know normal here. Let's not go crazy. So 50,000. <laughs> After you type that in, then you hit the bet button once. Now it remembers in memory that you have $50,000 to play with, and now it's waiting for your bet for the first game. Before I put the bet in, let me just explain what these eight buttons are used for, just in case you don't know much about blackjack. Let me even go further back. Blackjack. What is blackjack? Well, your objective is to get 21, 
You can get that in many different ways, but you want to really beat the dealer when you're playing this game because there's no other players. It's just you and the dealer. So you hope to get close to the 21 or 21 without going over. If the dealer goes over, because the dealer has to continue to hit whatever number they have until they get over 16. So if the dealer has, let's say, in two eights or a king and an eight or whatever they have that's total 16, they have to hit another card or get another card, which possibly can go over 21, which is considered a bust. And um, you don't have to. You can decide to stay on 16 or 15 or 12 or whatever you want to do. So you have the choice of staying on whatever you have totaled in your hand of cards. 21 can be achieved, like I said, in a number of ways. You can get an ace and a face card, an ace and a 10. You can add up a bunch of numbers cards up to 21 as you continue to hit and get more and more cards. Um, and there are different options when you get your cards, when you're playing your hand, which are these buttons here are used for. So the first button, play, is just what it means. You're going to play the game. You want to start the new game. You hit play. Hit is to ask for another card, and DBL is to double down. You want to double down on certain situations when you have, let's say, for example, your first two cards, you get total up to a 10. So maybe a two fives or a six and a four, or maybe you have 11 because you have a six and a five, and you want to hit double down, meaning you get one more card. Chances are that card could be a face card, which is worth 10. And that means you have 21, or you may have 20, which is great. But what's the advantage of that? Double down means you're going to double your bet. So whatever you bet, you'll get double that amount if you win. But you only get one card. Um, bet is bet. That's how you establish the bet to start the game, the first hand, or the hands that you'll be playing, which you saw me do. Split. In blackjack, when you get your first two cards, if they're the same number, like if it's two twos, two tens, two nines, two eights, Whatever it may be, two aces, which is really ideal, you would do a split. What that does, it splits it off into two hands. So now you have another hand to play with. So you have two hands instead of just one for that same game. There are certain cases you want to split. You don't want to split on anything. I mean, obviously, with two aces, you want to split because you're hoping the next card you get is a face card, which is worth 10, and then you have 21 or blackjack. But you can split it in this game on anything. If you have two twos, you can split it if you want. S-T-A-D, that means stand, meaning that you don't want any more cards, you're done, and now it's a dealer's turn. I-N-S, that's insurance. You use that when the hand is being dealt, and you see the dealer with an ace, and you're kind of wondering, maybe that dealer has blackjack. So you don't know if they have blackjack or not, and you do insurance before you even decide on getting another card. And what that means is you're banking on the dealer having blackjack, which is an additional bet of one half of your original bet. Now, if you're right, you lose nothing. But if you're wrong, you lose that insurance bet, but you continue to play the hand to win your original bet. And then TOT is your total, how much money you have in your bankroll. And as I mentioned in the beginning that for blackjack, you're really going to use all these buttons to here to the far right. From the 10 key with the decimal point, which really you're not going to use a decimal point, but use your 10 buttons for your numbers, and then you have your 8 buttons here I just mentioned. You won't be any, using any of these. You will use clear to clear the game to start over, but that's about it. In the manual, Jimmy the Greek helps you out if you don't know how to play blackjack in the back here. It says, some tips for winning blackjack from the Wizard of Odds. Jimmy the Greek. So he does give you some basic hints and tips. Some of the stuff I already mentioned about when you should split and double down. Also talking about a strong hand. Um, a lot of strategies, very basic strategies. But it's nice to have in case you don't know. Then again, that's what the internet is for. You can always find that out there. So let's get back to this game. We haven't even started yet. We're not ready for me to put in a bet. And let's say, oh, we'll go with um, 5,000. And I hit bet. And then we are getting the cards. 
So what we have here is the dealer has a six. We don't know what the other card dealer has because he's dealt two cards as well as I have two cards. My two cards is a three and an ace, which is what an A means. Ace is worth either one or 11, depending on how you want to use it. If I wanted to use it as 11, I would have 14 here. If it's a one, I have four. 14 doesn't do me too well unless my next card is a seven or a six. So I'm going to hit and I have another ace. So now I can either have 15 or I can have five. I'm going to hit again. Now I have a nine, 10, 14. Not good, but I'm going to have to probably, I'm going to stay because the dealer has to draw on 16. If the dealer has a face card, which is indicated with the letter F, meaning that a face card is a jack, queen, or king, and worth 10 points, the dealer has to hit. And that's what I'm hoping on. So I'm going to stay. Stand means stay. Nope. So I lost. What the dealer had was a 2. Having that makes it 8. Plus another 8 means 16. The dealer has to hit on 16 or draw. So the dealer drew a uh, ace, which is 1, 17, which is more than what I have, and did not go over 21. So I lost. The hit total, I now have 45,000. Because remember, I started with 50,000 in my bankroll. I bet 5,000. I lost. Let's do one more bet here. We will go and do play. And then you can see the zero is kind of dim, waiting for my bet. Um... Let's bet 25,000 and we will hit the bet button and then the dealer is dealing the cards. I have two fives and the dealer has an F, which is a 10, a face card. I will just split this to show you how that works. So I'm gonna split the fives, hit the split button once. And now I'm gonna work on my first hand, which was a five. And then I had an F, which means a face card. So I have 15. I'm not going to hit on 15, so I'm going to stay with that hand. The next one, I get a 4, which I have 9. I'm going to hit. I got a face card, 19. Perfect. I'm going to stand on that. Dealer has 18. So I won one of the hands, and I lost the other. So my total should still remain the same, which was at 45,000. So let's hit total. Yep, 45,000. Let's play one more hand. I got to win one. Hit play. I'm going to bet it all. 45. Um, whoop, uh, let's see. How do I clear it? Here we go. 45,000. And here we go. Look at that. Blackjack. I got an F, meaning a face card, and an ace with an A. Dealer has two face cards, 20. I win. Hit the total. Look what I have. So why do I have 112,500 if I bet 45,000 and won? Well, when you have blackjack, you win one and a half times your bet. So 45,000 is one and a half times of that would be 67,500. So 67,500 plus what I had already, which is 45,000 equals 112,500. And yes, I did that math in my head. <laughs> I think I'm right. Um, but anyways, I think it's a pretty good game. I mean, there's there's no sound, which is fine. Some of these games that you've seen on this channel have lots of noise with the games, and you have no control of the volume. This one has zero noise, and do you really need a noise to say you're a winner? Not really. It's nice and discreet, which is kind of why it doubles into a calculator and you could have it on your desk, and no one will know you're playing games while you're really working, or supposed to be working. You're working on your blackjack, that's for sure. When you think about it, this is a nice and simple way to play blackjack. Consider that this is in a shell shape of a calculator that you have seen back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, I guess even. And they came out in 1977. Considering all that, I thought this is a nice pickup to add to the collection. Of course, nowadays, a lot of this stuff is obsolete. You can play it online, you can play it on your phone. But remembering the past is what really brings a smile to my face. And especially something like this, which I never knew about until, like I said, a couple weeks ago. So I like this pickup. I hope you like this video. Comment down below. Let me know. And thank you again for watching. Until next time, keep that gaming passion from the past alive by living it today. Take care, everyone.